How's it going guys? Welcome to this painting tutorial. This time I'm going to paint a clan rat from the Skaven army on Warhammer Fantasy. This is the end result that you're going to get if you follow this tutorial. If you like it, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to see more videos and share this video with your friends if you'd like to help out the channel. I'm going to start by priming the miniature. I'm going to use Rustoleum Automotive Primer. You can use any primer that you'd like. I would recommend the black primer for this in that case, but this is the primer that I have. Uh, I'm going to start by painting the fur of the rat with Mornfang Brown. All of the colors that I'm using for this tutorial are watered down with uh, about one to one mix with water and paint. And uh, if the color doesn't cover too well, I give it a second coat. Thinning the paint is very important to have very thin layers of paint and uh, not take away from the detail of the model. Next I'm going to use corn red and with this color I'm going to paint uh, the lower part of the robe of the rat. You can decide to paint any color that you like. Um, the box art has primarily red, black and white or bone for the cloth but uh, I decided to go with this color with just black and red to make it look very dark and uh, that's it. Next I'm going to use Vallejo model color black. I like this black color because it's very matte in the finish. It's not glossy at all. So this is the black color that I like and with this color I painted the uh, hat of the rat. Next, I'm going to use Dryad Bark. With this color, I'm going to paint the wood details on the model. This is just the shield and the sword handle. Next, I'm going to use Warp Lock Bronze. And with this color, I'm going to paint all of the metallic details. We're wanting to make a very dark metallic, almost black, we're going to tone it down with washes and for most of the steps I'm using a brush number two brush from an art store it's a sable brush number two and if you can find that it's very good for base coating and uh, very good for detail work as well next I'm using rat skin flesh and with this color I'm going to paint the tail uh, the face of the model you just try to paint the snout and the upper part of the eye and the lower part like try to encircle the eyes with this color uh, there's no are uh, there's no line that determines where you have to paint the flesh on the face you just you kind of have to uh, make an arbitrary line so it's not that big of a deal next i'm tra i'm painting the i painted the claws and the teeth with a shafty bone Next comes the washes. I'm going to use Acrex Earthshade. Uh, this is just essentially going to cover the whole model. I want this clan rat to look kind of dirty and well, like a rat. Uh, it, she doesn't really take care of herself, so I'm using just Acrex Earthshade all around the model. And next, once it's dry, I'm going to use Nuln Oil to tone down the metallic uh, pieces of the armor and the blade. Next, I'm going to use uh, Biotan Green, and this is going to be a second, I mean a third wash on the metallic. This is going to give a very dark look to the to the metallic parts. You could go for a black instead of the colors that I'm using, but this way you got a very black metallic color, and uh, it, it kind of looks metallic instead of just black. I'm giving the first highlight to the skin with Scrack Brown and I'm still using the same brush, uh, number two sable brush from an art store and uh, I'm using the paint where done one to one and painting over the raised areas leaving the deepest recesses on the darker color. 
Next I'm going to use Deathclaw Brown as the third and final highlight for the skin. And this color is just painted over the places where you can see reflections of light. When you hold the miniature under your light source, you can see little shines here and there. Just paint them on this color. Or you could decide to paint, I don't know, the sharpest uh, details or places that you think that would catch more light. Here I'm using Vestigar Flesh to paint the flesh areas on the rat and uh, I'm trying to just bring back the color because the wash kind of toned it down and make them look very similar to the brown but I'm just uh, I'm kind of cleaning up and uh, leaving the recesses on the previous color. Next with Unger Flesh I'm going to give a second highlight to the skin and uh, it's essentially the same as the other uh, fur part where I use the second highlight on the places that reflect light on the model. This kind of is the same thing. I actually didn't mention that I used the previous colors on the hands as well. The hands, the tail and the face are painted with flesh colors. Next with Wastaka Red I'm going to clean up the robe or skirt on this model. Just leave the uh, inner folds of the skirt on the previous color and and paint the rest of the red colors with this color. Next with Wild Rider Red I'm going to edge highlight the skirt. I'm going to just focus on the most uh, raised areas on the skirt where you can see a uh, clear edge on the folds of the skirt and the other parts just paint a line on them and also the holes you can just paint the lower part the lower edge of the part making it look a lot more three-dimensional and uh, just try to paint all of the edges of the rat. Next with Kevin Black Dinch I'm going to make the same step as before but with the black I'm using Kevin Black Dinch for this and uh, also I'm using a uh, detail brush from uh, Citadel. Uh, this is a good brush for edge highlighting. Also you could use Lemian Medium to make it a little bit more flowy and uh, also you could use uh, Slow Dry instead of the Lemian Medium. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing and the second edge highlight is going to be with uh, Storm Vermin Fur and this is going to be applied only on the most raised parts of the black. Next with Gorthor Brown I'm going to just kinda edge highlight the wood parts on the shield. You could try to paint individual fibers of the wood but uh, I'm just trying to make this quick. I'm just kinda edge highlighting and uh, dry brushing on the shield. Next with Rune Fang Steel I'm going to bring out the metal look on the metal parts. Just try to edge highlight most of the area or just places that you would like to paint with this color essentially we're trying to make it like beat it up kinda showing the bare metal uh, beneath the black metal that is just very old and just dirty and not looked after so we're trying to just beat it up with this color and make it look like it's uh, chipping off We're almost done with the tutorial. I'm going to use Aerial Yellow to paint the little eyes on the Ratman. Um, just be very careful, use a detail brush and uh, that's it. Also the nails and the teeth, I'm going to give them a highlight with Screaming Skull. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope this video was helpful and informative for you. And if you like it, please like, comment and subscribe to the channel to see more and to support the channel and make it grow so that I can make more videos. Don't forget that you can find me on Facebook. There you can talk to me if you'd like. The links are on the description below. And thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I'll see you on the next video.